All right, Brooke, thank you. And now to a virus with cases on the rise, and it has parents especially worried. Our Tara Jakeway has more on what you need to know. According to the CDC, respiratory syncytial virus is on the rise in children under five here in Florida. We spoke with a pediatrician who told us how to spot the signs, how to avoid it, and how to treat it. We are seeing an uptick in the actual number of children who are becoming infected with RSV. As a result of COVID, Moore says we have a whole generation of infants and toddlers who have not been exposed to seasonal viruses like RSV. So now they are susceptible. The smaller children can have difficulty breathing where you can see nasal flaring or retraction of the lungs. Children with asthma or lung conditions are more prone to respiratory infections that can also be presented in kids as shallow breathing and loss of appetite. It's a usually a quite a tight cough um, with a lot of mucus production. Typically, these children cough so much that they vomit. Though the RSV season in Florida is longer than other states, according to the CDC, the majority of cases are mild. Moore says only 1 to 3 percent of cases require hospitalization. Head to the ER if you spot this. And then in very severe cases, you can have what we call cyanosis, which is a bluish tinge around the lips and on the extremities. This virus does share one mode of transfer with COVID-19. RSV can live on surfaces for quite a bit of time. It can live on your hands for about 20 to 30 minutes. And it can live on harder surfaces like tables or toys for up to six hours. Moore says the single most important thing parents can do to help their kids get through or avoid respiratory syncytial virus is to disinfect surfaces regularly and make sure children are washing their hands often. In West Palm Beach, Tara Jake, YWPBF 25 News.